Hi, for today's Jordan, this box, can you guess what it is? Grey front panel, aluminium body, round connector at the back. Yes, it is one more aircraft part. We have here a turbine gas temperature controller from BAE 146 or Avro Regional Jet. So it is apparently a computer to control the uh, to manage the exhaust temperature of uh, four reactors. Yes, it is a four uh, engines uh, aircraft. So we have here the only uh, display. Seems it is a Panaplex seven segment displays. Uh, reference temperature plus or minus. 100 it seems so buttons 1, 2, 3, 4 which are momentary buttons here we have also momentary buttons but with a longer course to them so maybe it is uh, take off MCT no ID TGT either target or uh, turbine gas temperature descent probably Synchronize, control, master, power are uh, lock buttons. And we have also test. We have a broken dimmer potentiometer here for the backlight. So I will see if it is possible to re-epoxy the broken part in this. The body of the potentiometer is broken, it seems. It is uh, moving a lot. And here we have the main temperature control setting up to uh, 899 it seems it will not go to 9 so the body is uh, pretty long and most uh, 30 centimeters with a lot of uh, cooling holes a lot of screws on the rear one big connector on the V uh, manufacturer label so as you can see, made uh, in 1997. Control display unit by Allied Signal Aerospace Equipment Systems Tucson Operations. And here is the part number for you. Okay, I will remove all the screws from the covers and we will have a look inside. Okay, here we are. Uh, yes, my tray for uh, screws is actually a piece of uh, Russian uh, air pressure sensor. So, let's remove the top cover. We have a folded aluminium top cover with some foam in here and as you can see a set of six circuit boards uh, inserted like this on the rear here the main connector with uh, some filtering and on the bottom wire wrapping so we will start here so you can see we, we have no uh, board, uh, circuit board with connectors. We have instead uh, wire wrapping connectors which are inserted in this metal plate. All the pins you see, in fact, they are insulated from the metal plate with very short sleeves in plastic. You can see here, quite a weird setup. We have one circuit board here with some uh, power supply stuff. I see uh, a few transistors mostly. Uh, 
actually this rear panel could be removed and unplugged here and this set of contacts I will not uh, do it but because there is no real point at undoing it but yes it can be done and you can see all these pins are really long and here they are almost touching in fact so it is uh, quite uh, Yes, in fact, wire wrapping pins are always like this, but still, and here no ties or anything to keep the wires together. Quite weird, and we have here two more rows of contacts, probably for the front piece. So first, we will have a look at the uh, circuit boards. I will pull them out. Here you can see the rear of the connector with two power transistors here and the filters capacitive uh, pass through here so we will start with card number one which seems actually to be the main uh, computer uh, side of the thing so we have uh, Motorola MC6802 processor. We have uh, two EPROMs here with uh, patch numbers. These are, uh, it is weird because it is the same patch number exactly on both EPROMs. Usually you have two uh, EPROMs that work together, but not here. On after this, in fact, everything seems duplicate on this board. These two ICs here and these ones are the same. Probably we have a memory here. MD2114A-5 Looks like RAM to me. And here some uh, 54LS uh, logic clips. CD40 here. Yes, all of them are duplicate. This one and this one are almost the same, not exactly, but this one looks like uh, not really interesting. A few bulge uh, wires, as you can see. Quartz here, and look at this, how they did. Uh, Secure the ICs to the board here. They are socketed with this uh, uh, bare sockets, but they did um, elastic them with some goop here, silicone goop to glue them to the circuit board, and uh, also the quartz here, and also the board wires. Other side have a few more board wires. Dead code here. And these extractors are actually very nice, made in uh, aluminium. Machined aluminium, it seems, yes. Extruded and then uh, machined, probably. Very nice uh, quality. So it was the first bond. Second one. Uh, we have here, so it is not written at all what the boards do. Bypass capacitors here on the back, glued in place. Big uh, Aris chip here, and more uh, regular uh, 74, 54 series here. So your guess is as good as mine as mine. You can research the ICs. Aris also, probably very expensive parts here. So we are controlling uh, four turbines. So uh, do we have anything in uh, four uh, uh, four times the same thing anywhere? Not really sure. The chips here obviously. 
very nice uh, red body diode here yeah, not uh, something as well so I guess we are just uh, taking the temperature and uh, take, uh, then using some countermeasures to uh, control it these ones are uh, really this board is really loaded with uh, board wires as you can see Bodge uh, resistor here also with handwritten uh, designation number to it. A little bit sink on this. Uh, oh, it is interesting. It is actually not a transistor, it is a 7805 in a round metal body. Not uh, something you see every day. And more board wires, of course, at the back. So there is no information at all about what the cards do. So, sadly, next board here. It looks like yes. Look at this. Can you spot something on this board? This chip has been replaced, it seems, because we have no conformal coating over it. Interesting. Big uh, connector here. Very impressive. Two boards are remaining. This one still uh, 54 series LS series everywhere. This is the network here, it seems. One box layers passing through the board here, like so. Tiny, tiny, tiny uh, metal uh, body transistor here. The same uh, diameter than uh, 2N22, 2N22, but uh, a third of, of uh, height, almost. Okay, and the last band, I will undo it. So. Uh, is it the same? No. Here we have a number of transistors. Yes, seems these items here are four legs. One more uh, SN54 uh, series. Allen Bradley resistor network here. So this might be uh, either a front end or an output card. So either front end from uh, sensors, aperture sensors, or output card driving something. Because obviously a lot of transistors to amplify some signals. Okay. So, when the cars are undone, we have a better look now at the connectors, how they are made. Pins in uh, plastic uh, strips like this with uh, holes, and it fits in the holes of a metal plate. Very nice view here of the captive nuts for the cover. Some assembly uh, number here. And now, and the rails on the side, of course, to keep the circuit boards in place, but made by Bercher. So now I will try to undo the front panel. And we will try to see if there is anything interesting. The screw is not too hard, it is good.
So I got this item for uh, something like 5 euros on uh, British eBay as always from one of uh, my favorite sellers. Okay, it is interesting. Uh, so I can disconnect here. It would be something, but I can do it. We have just headers, it seems. Yes. So it should come off. No, actually, it did not come off because it is like so. We have this metal piece here which is preventing it from coming off and it should require undoing the wall plate here to get it free so I will not do it instead I will uh, try to undo the uh, I would love to see the display here but uh, sadly, I guess it will not be possible. There are uh, a lot of screws very, very deep, as you can see. It will be pretty much uh, impossible to reinstall it by the looks of it. Except if. Uh, no, yes. Let me try. Um, I would love to see this display, but we have one very deep screw here. One very deep screw here. Super convenient. What? It is not moving at all. I will try to undo this screw on the side, but it looks like so this one piece is a single piece, so really everything has to go from this uh, side. It is not uh, convenient at all. I have seen so probably the backlight control is for the buttons on the display but not for the front panel because we have no backlight on the front panel it seems it is a solid piece of aluminium let me figure out this screw okay. and Off this display assembly. Yes, not easy at all. And yes, we have Babcock, Babcock display. Some kind of uh, plasma thing on. Uh, off you can see on the socket exactly okay so it could be replaced if you manage to access down there now we can see a little bit of the body of the switches I wonder how they are attached really see this is quite well secured and there is no screw or anything you can see all the wires uh, going to them. And one last thing to check out is this broken potentiometer, which I would love to be able to repair with the help of some 
Epoxy glue most probably. So I will. Uh, I do not think I will uh, put it back together today because I will re glue this piece. Try to at least. I can see it is not easy. The uh, metal piece here is broken, so let me uh, get some better tools and I will be right back. Because I need to uh, turn this and keep this, prevent this from turning at the same time. In order to try to free up this piece. Super easy, maybe like so. Maybe mm. I hope I have a matching piece in my stuff, it will be much more easy to deal with. So, uh, how to proceed with this? Maybe this thing is in a terrible shape. Okay. Yes. It must be why it was ship. Okay. And now I should be able to pull it from the back and remove it. Okay. Here is what we have. A, B, tip, type, S, P, potentiometer. I haven't got one like this uh, made in Mexico. And this piece is completely broken off. It is some kind of a die cast uh, metal, it seems. Zinc or something like this. And really poor quality of metal. It did snap right off. And uh, it is completely gone. I need to replace this part. Anyways, by at least a potential metal with the same kind of shaft size. And it is a weird for uh, contacts, potentiometer. So, so I will dig in my stock and see if I have anything that could fit at, at least the size of the thing. But uh, I am not really confident here. Okay, so it is all uh, for this thing. As you can see, quite a mess. I will uh, at least reinstall the boards and reinstall this display and try to dig in my stock for the missing part. Well, the part I must replace. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.